Okay, there it is. It's done. So now I'm going to go ahead and do is drag those two files, drop them in that folder. That way the PSP has something to open up. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get on my PSP. Okay, now let's go to the memory stick. And there we got it. As you can see, again, this little box right here that has Final Fantasy VII, that is the Icon Zero folder that we have right here that was in Pop Station. The Sephiroth Flame background, that's the pick one. That's what you want to put in Pop Station as well. And you can't see the pick zero because I use the transparent. It's Again, that was the 310 by 180 pixel. Normally, it would go right here and it would tell information about the game, but as you can see, I don't need information about the game. I already know what it is. What you want to go ahead and do is hit X to run that, and it'll give you the precaution about using the PSP and information about how the title that's converted may not be the same as the original. And here's the game running in full speed. Alright, we'll go ahead and we'll do a new game. Circle. There you have it, you just converted Final Fantasy 7 Disc 1 over to the PSP. Not, I only have a gigabyte memory stick in here now, I'm not using the 4 gig. Um, but with Final Fantasy 7 being it is 3 discs, you can convert one at a time. Uh, as you can see, here's the opening CG. any game footage so you know that it is running at full speed
button, let's push home, as you can see you got sign buttons, screen mode, software manual, which you don't use, and quick game. And there you got it, Final Fantasy 7 for your PSP.